And today, we got a question in here about that upcoming Creed universe. Check it out. Hi, John. My name's Amory. I'm a big fan of yours. I just got out of seeing Creed 3, and I thought it was good, but could be better. Obviously, Creed 3 is going to make a ton of money. So where do they go next? Do they do a Creed 4? Do they do a story about his daughter? Love to hear your thoughts. Thank you, and bring on the filthy. All right. Thanks a lot, Amory, for calling that in. And yeah, listen, Creed 3 in theaters right now. I'm going to be really interested to see what the second weekend drop was going to be. Um, I, I, Again, I'm not ready to say that Creed 3 is as good or better than the first Creed, but it's comparable. It is a fantastic movie. Uh, Michael B. Jordan, with his directorial debut, in a perfect circumstance, a modestly budgeted film, in a franchise he was very, very familiar with, still working with Ryan Coogler as a producer on. It was a perfect situation, and he knocked it out of the park. Now, he said something very interesting on one of the red carpets when Creed was premiering, and he said something along the lines of, you know, developing a Creed universe. Now, at the time, some people, including myself, just kind of interpreted that as you know, uh, making another Creed movie. Like, it, it was the Rocky world, but now it's the Creed world. That's how I kind of interpreted it at the time, right? Well, maybe that wasn't the right interpretation because according to a report in Variety, Amazon, who owns MGM, is working with Michael G. B. Jordan to develop a full Creed film and TV universe with Amazon, which would cover theatrical, television, and even animated yes. stuff with the Creed universe. Love this it. is what they said over at Variety. They said the following. On the heels of the success of MGM's Creed 3, Michael B. Jordan and Amazon are in talks for a film and TV universe expanding the Creed boxing world Variety is confirmed. Details are scarce regarding what projects are being discussed, but sources say the conversations are underway to explore the possibilities for capitalizing on the MGM film franchise's success on Prime Video following Amazon's acquisition of MGM. So this would include full theatrical releases, television shows to be on Amazon Prime and in the world of animated. And I will tell you what, I love this Creed franchise. I loved the first one. I quite liked the second one. I didn't like it as much as the first. I love the third one. I think this might be stretching it a little too much. To, to now, now, listen, I've I've thought that before and then changed my mind, but I I would love the idea of another Creed movie. I even love the idea of a Drago spinoff, like Victor Drago, not Ivan yeah. Drago, not the dad. <laughs> but hey, have Ivan in there too. Have Ivan in yeah, there. Yeah. Have, have Dolph Lundgren in there. Dealing the with dad. arthritis. <laughs> but yeah. I, I'm, I'm actually, especially after Creed 3, I'm like, you know what? I want to see a movie with Drago. I want to see that. See, anyway, with Drago, what about Damien? Eh, Damien. Look, 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 look. Oh, I we can't get into spoilers. Okay, okay. We can't okay, get into spoilers. Go ahead. Go ahead. But, <laughs> I mean, but you could. I mean, John, um, they've, they've said that they want to work. Jonathan Majors has said that him and Michael B. Jordan are going to work together more. So I, w I would expect to see... Damien, played by Jonathan Majors, probably pop up in the... I don't know if I want to see a Damien standalone movie, but, I mean, he can have a role to play in this world, that kind of stuff, but I, I do wonder if this is stretching it, a, would be stretching it a bit thin. I, I guess it would all depend on what we hear the concepts are, right? Creed 4, you got to do a Creed 4. There has to be a Creed 4. And then what do you do after that? Do you, Is it going to be like a... You know, the UFC has their uh, Ultimate Fighter reality show? Oh, right. Is it going to be oh. a Creed reality boxing oh, no, show no. i mean I, I just don't know what they have in mind here what do this, you think they're gonna do this feels like and it, it scares me to say this but it feels like what marvel is doing with disney plus it feels like padding the creed universe whatever like uh it, it is not good for a movie they're gonna make a show out of it they're gonna put it on amazon like a series the animated thing i'm very excited for like i love the ajimi no ipo i i think that's how you pronounce it um boxing one that uh japanese boxing anime right i love that so I, i'm down for an animated series i i think um they could go into like a whole series on like certain fighters that from the past i don't know but it feels like it's just padding like um like marvel puts up the the in-depth looks after the uh their movies release like quantumania 
right. like behind the scenes or what, what, how they made these decisions about the story or this and that. So it just feels like something that, that they're putting on Amazon just to, because it's, there's a, a brand behind it. There's a, a star behind it. And of course they're going to put it up on there. I mean, like I said earlier, like everyone has a prime membership. And if you're bored, you can just, just put it on. If you like boxing, if you like these <laughs> movies, just put it on. So I'm scared of the idea. I, I don't want to be oversaturated because we only get a boxing movie every once in a blue moon. And I yeah. like it. And I like it that way. You know what I mean? So uh, he's hoping they don't. I, li I like the comparison to the Marvel stuff. There's a day. There's a real danger of an oversaturation. And I hope they don't do that. But hey, I'm going to I'm going to be optimistic. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Michael B. Jordan and Amazon are talking about creating an entire Creed universe of movies, TV shows, animated stuff, whatever you can think of. Good idea, bad idea, whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. You guys know I made the switch over to Mint Mobile a while ago. The process couldn't have been easier and I can't believe that I am spending less than a third of what I was spending on one of the other major carriers before. By going online only and eliminating the traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia that's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia 